Welcome to BSA Statistics programs. In this lesson, I discuss Ewell's coefficient of colligation and its limits. Ewell's coefficient of colligation and its limits. It is also one another mother measure to know the association between the attributes. That's all. The Ewell's coefficient of colligation is y is equivalent to be 1 minus square root of a beta alpha b divided by a b alpha beta whole divided by 1 plus square root of a beta alpha b divided by a b alpha beta. This is what the formula of Ewell's coefficient of colligation. 1 minus same quantity divided by 1 plus square root of same quantity. So this is what the limit, this is what the formula of Ewell's coefficient of colligation. And to know the limits and to calculate the limits of Ewell's coefficient of colligation, now I consider the relation between Q and Y the relation between Q and Y, the relation between Q and Y, I write here, the relation between Q and Y, what is Q? Ewell's coefficient of association. What is Y? Ewell's coefficient of colligation. I consider Ewell's coefficient of association and colligation, I consider the relation. So Q is equal to B, relation is equal to Q is equal to 2Y by 1 plus Y square. This is what the relation between Q and Y. Now I consider three values of Q and so that I find the values of Y. If Q is equal to 0, if Q is equal to 0, then of U S V Y is equal to 0. In order not to calculate much more of that. If Q is 0, then Y is 0. Right? And then now, if you consider, if Q is equal to 1, then you substitute here, 2Y divided by 1 plus Y square is equal to 1, which implies 2Y is equal to 1 plus Y square, which is, if you consider, 1 plus Y square minus 2Y is equal to 0, which means uh, it is 1 minus Y whole square is equal to 0, which implies Y is equal to plus 1. You understand this? I have considered q is equal to 1. In the relation, I have substituted 2y by 1 plus y is equal to 1. And thereafter, I have calculated, I got this result, and y is equal to 1. That is plus 1. If you consider it again now, if q is equal to be minus 1, then you consider the same relation substitute 2y divided by 1 plus y square is equal to minus 1. And then, if you substitute here, I am considering 2y is equal to minus of 1 minus y square, 1 plus y square and so that uh, if you take the value here, 1 plus y square and minus 2y is equal to 0, I have taken minus sign to this and so that uh, minus 2y is equal to 0, the plus 2y, plus 2y, minus, uh, if you take this particular term right hand side uh, or uh, if you take this particular term left hand side, then you will get plus 2y, 1 plus y square plus 2y. Hence it is 1 plus y the whole square is equal to 0 and which implies we get y is equal to minus 1. y plus 1 is equal to 0 then y is equal to minus 1. So therefore lower limit is we are getting minus 1 and the upper limit we are getting plus 1. For two different values of q is equal to 1 and q is equal to minus 1. Therefore y is also lies in between minus 1 to plus 1 that is y is the license between minus 1 to plus 1, minus 1 less than or equal to y less than or equal to 1 from these two equations, from these two results values. So these two values. And also q takes the value 0 if y is equal to if q is 0, y is also 0. Right? So these are the uh, limits of Ewell's coefficient of colligation. This is the way we find the limits of Ewell's coefficient of colligation. Thank you.